Well, I'm really proud of our team. This was um, this was a tough win to get. It's a really good win, and um, we had to have a lot of grit, a lot of toughness, and um, a lot of focus to to figure out a way to pull this one out. And uh, I I'm so proud of our team. Uh, I'm proud of that group and their attitude and how they came together, what they were saying, and how they uh, how they locked in in that fourth quarter when they had to when they had to get stops. Take our first question from Maria. I, I told Coach Fernandez this was probably a question for you. How did you manage? If you just look at the box score, if you didn't see the game, you look at the box score. Tennessee's 0 of 13 from the three, 4 of 10 from the line. He said that basically that Jordan put the team on her back in the fourth quarter. But I want your point of view too. How how did you come back and win this game in the fourth quarter? Well, I, I think it's two things. I think um, Jordan in the in the fourth quarter uh, being aggressive and determined offensively, and then us holding them to five points. I mean, until they got that kick out three on the offensive board, they had two points in the fourth quarter. And that to me was the difference in the game. And, um, you know, you just you just had one big, strong defensive quarter. Uh, it's the one we needed. Coach, just following that, you were able to rotate defensively on every level. The guards brought the pressure. Then Tamari Key was able to finish it with six blocks tonight. Just what does it say about your team defensively and what they were able to do to get this win? You mentioned those five points in the, in the fourth quarter. Well, we, we know where we're at right now when we step out on the court. Um, and, and right now, we're, we're, we've got to hang our hat on our defense. I mean, we, we know that. We know it's not pretty on the other end. So uh, the team really bought into that. And, and when they were a little bit tired, a little gassed, a little bit down, they found a way to turn it up a notch. And I, that, that grit was, was crucial to this win. And I think um, – I think everybody was trying to do their part. We had some breakdowns throughout the game, but in the fourth quarter, boy, we were locked in. They, we didn't give up anything easy in that fourth quarter. And you know, you had you had our guards playing really hard on the perimeter, and, and it allowed Tamari to to be able to provide help in, in the paint. And, and obviously, she's a she's a presence. Tamari playing 36 minutes also was a huge key to this game. Next year from Cora and then Brian. Jordan Morrison's kind of really progressed to like last game to this game, 24 points. How encouraging is that offensive production from her giving you guys to have right right now? Well, I think we I think we need Jordan to uh, to play like Jordan Morrison can play. And I think that's gonna be us finding ways to get her aggressive uh, on the ball, uh, with the ball, maybe maybe working her some off the ball as well. So um, she's doing a doing a terrific job on the boards right now. Proud, really, really proud of that because I think that's been a been a difference maker in our in our last two games as well. So proud of Jordan and and um, how she's been able to take on um, uh, the challenge of, of stepping up her game and put points on the board for us. Three wins over a quality opponent without having scored sixty points yet. Do you feel like your defense is good enough for that to be sustainable? You know, we still got to work on it. I think there there are some areas that our defense needs to improve. Um, you know, we can get a little bit smarter, but I think our team is is pretty locked in in terms of uh, knowing that's how we need to play, and what we need to rely on. Um, but I, I think there, I think we can tweak some things that and, and maybe give us um, maybe to allow that to sustain us. We're going to have to score at some point. We know that we're going to have to put some points on the board at some point. Um, but until that happens, hopefully our defense can, can hang tough. Can you talk about how big it was that you held USF to only two threes in that second half after they went six of nine in the first? Well, I, I yelled at the team a little bit on that at halftime. And that six for nine was not a stat that I liked. And I thought, I thought we started the game guarding the three-point line pretty well, and then we just had some complete breakdowns. And so I was not real pleased at halftime. Uh, and, and they knew it. Uh, they talked about it in the locker room. They, um, they, they kept repeating some uh, 
uh, some things defensively as a team. Uh, I'm glad they glad they adjusted. You know, I, I thought we um, we really made things difficult for them in the second half. Tyler and four. There were a couple of times there where your team was, you know, sort of missing shots and had some turnovers and, you know, sort of seemed to be getting in their own head. You know, when you take the team, you know, over the sideline for the time out there, what do you say or what did you say to, you know, try to get them in the right headspace? Yeah, you know, I, I think I think right now when they come back over there, the thing that I'm trying to do is give them confidence. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, to, to support them, put them in position to be successful. Um, give them the information that they need, they can go out there and feel good about what they're doing. Um, you know, I thought there were so many times, I thought we cut it to four and just could not get another bucket and then go back up to six and could not, you know, it just, it took forever to be able to, to get that score tied. And, um, you know, we missed, missed some shots, made a couple turnovers in those stretches and, and we just hung tight, hung tough, you know. And, um, that's where they kept coming back to the bench and we kept kept trying to pump them up. You can do it, just get a stop and we'll figure this out down here. So, um, I, I was proud. Cora and then Maria. Oh, all 13 from three point. You said before the season that three pointers were an area you felt like you guys needed to add, it, add that to your offense. You know, three games in, how, how big of a concern is that? And does it need to fix to around and win it? Yeah, so, you know, in terms of fixing it, um, we have, kids that can make shots that haven't made them. Um, right now, I think it's a little bit of, um, of us still trying to find a rhythm offensively. Um, you know, when you when you lose Ray at the beginning of a three game in six days uh, stretch, doesn't give you a lot of time to, to try to find some alternative scoring opportunities. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say it's all that. Uh, we, we've got to have some players get in the gym and, and feel good about their shot. But um, we'll go back and watch each of those each of those shots with those players and just see see what they think. Was it a good shot? Was it taken in rhythm? Because I think sometimes right now, what we're finding, we don't know when we're going to be open, so we're not anticipating. We're not ready. We don't get a lot of wide open looks, and um, if we do, we've rushed them a little bit. So we'll we'll go back and look at those. Um, but but hopefully, you know, maybe a little different mindset for us offensively uh, this week, maybe will give us an opportunity. Maria followed by Ryan and then Addison. You mentioned the, the three games in, in six days. Right now your schedule has been game, scouting report, game, scouting report, game. Now you've got a little bit of time before Texas comes to town Sunday. What do you want to get done this week with your team? Yeah, the, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, first, they get a day off. Um, they have earned it, um, they deserve it, and I'm actually required to give them a day off. So. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, the way there's a lot of things going on, the, the way the calendar falls and, and how travel is followed with, they're actually getting two days off this week. But I'm okay with that as well. And then um, Wednesday will be a big practice day for us and we will work on the bus. And I'm, I'm really excited about that and I'm not thinking that film of someone else trying to figure out how we're going to score against this team, against this team. Let's just work on us and find some rhythm uh, offensively for us. Uh, our practice guys are probably going to hate Wednesday because they probably won't get to play offense much. Um, and then uh, Thursday will be another off day and then we'll go Friday and Saturday will be heavy prep towards Texas. But that one big day on Wednesday should be good for us. Maybe it helps for Texas. I don't know, but that is that is for us moving forward, hopefully. Ryan and Madison. Two part question. First, just that eleven two run at the, the end of the half to kind of flip the game. What went wrong there? And secondly, you mentioned you got to that four point uh, deficit a lot. You couldn't get over the hump. Just well, what does it say about your team to especially stay locked in on that defensive end? Yeah, you know, I, let me answer that one first. I, you know, when you, you you get a stop and you come up empty, and you get a stop and you come up empty. At some point, you know, it's a little deflating. And our players never wavered. They kept hanging in. They kept digging deep to try to get stops. And uh, really, that, that competitiveness shown through right there. Um, the end of the half, I'd, I'd say we, we had some defensive breakdowns. We had some people in foul trouble sitting on the bench, and I was just trying to get the halftime. Uh, but we had some defensive breakdowns, just some 
uh, lack of focus and gave up open threes. And that's where I was just not happy with how we finished that half. And we have to be better there. And it's got to be everybody. It's, it's not just one person. It's got to be everybody. It's got to be better. Yes. Coach, this team obviously has the roster and depth to run with any team in the nation. And when shots aren't falling, is there any concern with just four fast break points? And would you like to see them try and generate more offense and transitions? Well, what we have seen in um, now the first three games, the, the way people are playing us, um, they're, they're really locked in transition defense um, to, to try to take away some of our offensive opportunities. I think there were some there that we missed. Uh, I really do. So we, I think we've got to find that, especially not scoring well. Sometimes you got to bunt, right? And um, you, know, you got to do some different things, sacrifice fly. So maybe you're finding in a transition. We got to knock our free throws down. We got to do that. And uh, maybe we can find some areas to to create some offense with our defense. So I think I think those areas are. That's how you manufacture some points in this game. Cora. It may not feel like it. We're only six days in the season. You know, like you said, three tough games. You've kind of weathered the storm of losing right now, staying undefeated. How important have these games been for freshmen? You know, maybe players who wouldn't see the court as much, facing that adversity, and overcoming the, the three game stretch. I tell you what, you you know, if you if you know you're coming out of this three and zero, it's probably drawn up pretty well. You know, to have tough games that you have to fight. To get the win, uh, you're playing different people. Uh, people are having to step up on both ends of the court. It's been really good for their growth, in my opinion. Uh, you know, you don't you don't go into the season, you don't go into the games hoping that happens for sure. But if you come out on top, you look back. I think there's been a lot of growth already for this basketball team. Cool. Um, Tamari just seems to be on a different level defensively. What do you feel like, I asked her, and I want to see what your opinion is, what do you feel like she sees when she's on the defensive end that things kind of slow down and she gets all those blocks? Well, I, I think for us, uh, the scheme really helped tonight. She was able to um, kind of roam the paint, uh, kind of find, find where she could help and did a really nice job. I think she's uh, she's the most effective when we can put her in that position. Can't always do that, right? Uh, it's completely dependent on personnel and matchups, but I thought that that helped us for sure. Uh, your team was extremely aggressive, especially on the offensive glass. I mean, is that is that the identity you want for the for this team? Yes, yes, we are going to rebound. Period. That is going to happen. Our players know it. We don't. Uh, we don't waver in that area. Uh, I'll tell you, that was the thing that we kept. We kept holding on to when, when we weren't scoring. We kept saying, "You got to crash the boards. Got to crash the boards. Got to crash the boards." So that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you that is never going to change with me. That's a big deal for me. Probably because I played in Tennessee. Uh, Saul Jordan Walker was uh, sporting a knee brace tonight, only played 23 minutes. Do you have an update on her? Is there anything going on there? Uh, Jordan Jordan always wears a knee brace, but uh, she she was, uh, she was didn't feel great tonight uh, going into the game. Um, but uh, this, these next couple of days rest will, will be good. Or this week should be good for her to get her back in the bed. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah.